You cannot at your faith. You must be able to tell yourself, I have faith in what I'm doing. Because whatever you don't have faith in, you're not going to prosper for me. Faith is like belief. Your belief is what mirrors your act, and your act is what mirrors your belief. Ladies and gentlemen, you must have faith. So when you look at that simple formula for success, which is your desire plus your skills times your faith is what gives you success. Now, when we have defined or understand the meaning of success now, because we say success are different relative meaning. Maybe you are the type that is working for a company. You are an employee at where you work at. Now, guess what? Your success can be that you needed a, 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 what we call a promotion from where you are to another level. It can be a success and you're able to achieve that. Now, to a school, stu school student now that want to pass or be on top of his own class, or maybe you want to be on top of your grade. Now, guess what? You're able to achieve and move from that level into the next grade. It can be a success to somebody that is an engineer that is able, uh, wanting to get a contract and you're able to achieve that contract that can be a success you know to, to everyone success have different relative meaning but ladies and gentlemen for something to have happened there is something two part to that success and that two part to success is what we want to really delve into this morning now ladies and gentlemen i want you to know that a lot of people are working on goals that have not been created yet. And the truth is that they are working on goals that have never been created yet. You remember something that you will become whatever you think about. Now, if you are going to become whatever you think about, then you need to understand that people that want something for nothing end up having nothing. People that want something for nothing end up having nothing. Now I'll tell you, Two parts of success. What are these two parts of success, ladies and gentlemen? And that is what brings us to where we are going to be talking about the success balance scale. The two parts of success, the first is the spiritual part. And why the second is the physical part. Now you're talking about the spiritual part and the physical part. What is the spiritual part, ladies and gentlemen? And what is the physical part? And when we talk about spiritual, ladies and gentlemen, we're not talking about you have to go and kneel down to God and say, Father, oh, or you go to the mountain or you go to your mosque or you know you're doing all those things we're not talking about that we're talking about the spiritual part which is your inner part which is your subconscious your mindset because your mindset determines your reality mindset is everything that is the spiritual part now the physical parts are you know is something that is you can see they are vivid you know something you have to the practice the skill i'm going to talk about that so when you talk about the spiritual part, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to draw a tabular form, you know, and we are going into the physical, I mean, the spiritual and the physical part, and we are going to make it in a tabular form. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when you have drawn that out, I want you to write on the spiritual part, you put 90 to 99%, okay? Put 90 to 99%. That is what the spiritual part stands for. And then in the physical part, I want you to just put 1%. Some places will look at me and follow me. How do you mean? Ladies and gentlemen, success, the spiritual part controls the physical. Even the Bible said it. 99% of the success that you get or what will qualify you for that next level has to come from your mind. You become what you think about. 99% is the spiritual, 1% is the physical. Now let's look at the spiritual part. What are the spiritual elements or uh, that will qualify you to be able to achieve success and then you do the 1%. Ladies and gentlemen, first on my list can be the mental, okay? When you say the spiritual part can be even, not, okay, let's not make it the first. Let's say the spiritual, you can even make it bracket open and close as the mental. And why the physical part can be the nature, okay? So in case some people are on it and say, Afolabi, you're sounding very, very weird. I'm not sounding weird. And I'm telling you the principle that have been embedded in books and I've worked for many people that are billionaires, successful people all over the world, ladies and gentlemen, that is how it works. So what is the mental part or you call it the spiritual part and then the physical part, which you can also relate as the natural part. Now, remember the first on our list and the spiritual part, ladies and gentlemen, you can actually make it like your thought. It can be your thought. I want you to write down your thoughts. The number two can be your thinking. 
okay? Number three can also be, you know, uh, what you're saying, like seeing. Number four can be hearing. Number five can be visualization. Number six can be desire, okay? Number seven can be your goals. We are still on the spiritual part, which is the mental part, okay? Now, number eight, we can put it as your dreams. Number nine can be your feelings. Number 10 can be your, your, your think, you know, your speaking, what you speak. And then we've talked about feelings, right? And, you know, these things, ladies and gentlemen, and many, many more, which we're still going to be talking about. Now, let's come back to the physical part, which is the nature side. The physical part, which is the nature side, can be the technique, because you need the technique. You need the technique, because when you have seen this part, you, you need technique. Or you can also put maybe the skills. You can put skills, you can put strategies, you can put work, you can put, you know, you know the, the things that you think you know. You can put skills, strategies on the work. That's all we need to discuss in that part. Now, let me not take you deep into what we said as part of thought, your thoughts, your thinking. Ladies and gentlemen, when you look at these things, these are abstract things that you can't really see them, but guess what? They are the major determinant into you achieving or major determinant to make you achieve success because you become what you think about. Remember we said thought are things. For you to change the things you don't want in your life, you must start changing your thought. Now, guess what? You don't like the school your children is going. They start changing the way you think. You don't like the things around you, the kind of car you're driving, start changing the way you think. You don't want those things around you, then you have to start changing it, okay? You have to change it from the inside before you start seeing it appearing in the physical. Very, very important. So when we talk about thinking, if you look at the word thinking, T-H-I-N-K-I-N-G. When you are thinking something, I want you to remove that I-N-K, which is the ink. You must be able to ink it in your mind. The ink in it is in your mind. And I'll take you to the word of uh, the Bible in the book of Habakkuk 2.2. Write the vision, make it plain. You must ink it. It means that you need a vision board. You ink it into your brain, your mind. Ink it like that is what I want. I want this new house. I want this new car. Ink it, let it be. And when we say ink in it, you, you have it through the word of affirmation. It comes, reputation. Reputation. It comes through the word of affirmation. So you are inking it in your brain. Oh, I am grateful and thankful now that I am now a successful people. Uh, oh, I'm grateful and thankful now that I'm not any $10,000 every, every month by December 31st, 2021. You keep saying it. You say it over and over. So you're inking it in your mind. And guess what? You must be able to see what you, are, what you want in your life. You must be able to see it. If you don't see it, you're not going to receive it. Always have the end in mind. I already know where I'm going. I've seen it that I'm going to be successful. In the business I'm doing, I already see that I'm going to be achieving so so amount of money. I already see that I will be impacting the lives of people via this platform I'm about to start. You know, you have to see it. You must see it. Successful people see it. Like one of my mentors, the word of my mentor, Ottenberg says, you know, uh, you don't get what you want in life. You only get what you picture. So what are you picturing in your life? What do you picture for yourself? So you must be able to see it. And guess what? You must be able to hear it. You must hear it like, like every time, like somebody is calling you, Coach Dan. Oh, Coach Dan, the powerful coach, the best coach in the world. Oh, uh, Alice, Alice Mena. Alice Mena is the best. You must hear that, oh, somebody is calling you by the title you want. And then when they call you, they are calling you like you are a successful person. So you must hear it, okay? Hearing it too is part. And then visualization, like I said, you have to visualize it. You have to see these things. Visualize it. The visual is what you see. It has to be vivid. It has to be like, it is so real, ladies and gentlemen. And to help your visualization, you need images. You need pictures of what you want. You need things to paste it around you, then start being grateful for it. 
You need those images. I said again, desire. You must desire. Desire it. Desire that you want to achieve success. Desire that your business is going to blossom today. Desire that you are not going to be broke. Desire that you will create your own kind of environment around you. And I said, you must also have what I call your goals. Your goals, ladies and gentlemen, is, is they are the marking point towards you achieving your dreams in life. The goals are the marking point. We have said it before when you talk about goal, you need you know, the short-term goal and the long-term goal. And I tell people in the goal setting too, you have three types of goal. You have the A type of goal, which is seeing it already accomplished. The B type of goal is that you're thinking maybe it has happened. And the C type of goal is that this stretches you. You must be able to commit into it. Then your dreams are the realization or they are your own life reflection, okay? They are your reflection in the future. That's what it means. Dreams are your reflection in the future, the reflection of you, what you want. So how do you help yourself? You must be able to have this thing in the spiritual part, and then you talk about feeling. Start feeling it that you're already a successful person. Start seeing, start carrying yourself, start seeing yourself. No, I have achieved it. Don't limit yourself. Don't have the charisma that I know I have what it takes to achieve this thing. I can handle it. Have the feelings, ladies and gentlemen. And when you are doing this thing, ladies and gentlemen, you see that the spiritual part is completed. And guess what happened to the physical part? Then you need the skill. You need the strategies. You need the technical know-how skill, which is very, very, or the strategies or the skill, or, or what do you call it, the, the work you need to put in place because the Bible said faith without work is dead. You know, you must be able to put in the work. And guess what? The work is not supposed to stretch you. The work is supposed to make you know that it is already accomplished. So it is, they are the tangible things and which you must be able to put in a place. And then the spiritual part, which is the mental part, are the intangible things. Okay, so please note that. Now, how do you make it work? So you have to start speaking the word. You must start to speak, you know, they, they put the emotions into what you do and then put images to making you to achieve these things, ladies and gentlemen. These are the two parts to success. When you start putting this thing, ladies and gentlemen, then you see success really at your own. Uh, you start seeing that success truly can be achieved. Ladies and gentlemen, this is all that we have for you today. But before I leave you, I want to quickly talk about the four parts to creating your belief system, which is tomorrow we're going to be doing that, but we may not be able to do that by tomorrow. Sorry, uh, uh, I beg your pardon. Uh, we are having a very, very special guest all the way from United Kingdom, uh, the person of Maximize. And this is a woman that I so respect, a woman that I really, really respect. I have been with this woman for you know for a couple of years i think given about maybe four years right now i've watched her tenacity she has her own program which is called uh uh you know uh maximize wealth she has a blog she she writes and she's been involved in the industry and be responsible to training a lot of people all across the world she has a great team in the uk and also in the us and here in nigeria too and i've always respect this woman and she is also my very very good sister uh, not biological you know sister is also sister my sister is success that's what i mean so we're going to have the privilege of having her to be our host tomorrow and then she's going to be teaching us on a topic which is called reflection ladies and gentlemen i am excited and i can't wait to be part of tomorrow's class remember it's 9 a.m west african time you want to stay glued to it and on monday we will start with the topic of the four factors that create your belief system we are on a steroid move ladies and gentlemen and you don't want to miss out from this program remember we encourage you to like and share and subscribe to our youtube page for the video content which you will be putting up there in case you are not on our live program and we are super excited about what god is about to do in this amazing platform uh, in Nigeria and all across the world. You know, our goal is to be able to impact the lives of 5,000 people. And we have a deadline to it. And we have written it out as a goal uh, by December 31st, 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, I am excited and, uh, and the rest of the team to be walking you through this path. Myself, Coach Dan, and a few others, Maximize Sweat, and a few others that are already part of the team, 
and we are excited. I'm a beautiful wife, uh, uh, beautiful wife too. She's also, uh, she has been instrumental to ensuring that these things are being put out there. And I can't wait to start seeing, you know, hearing your own success story in this 2021 as we're about to round up the year. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an exciting program. It's been an exciting time again before uh, this wonderful audience. And I super, I super celebrate everyone here listening and watching via our live stream. And we can't wait. Please subscribe, like, and share our video to people out there. Let them be also of a blessing. Guess what? Our time is just going to be 15 to 20 minutes, which we do every single day, Mondays to Friday. So by tomorrow, we're going to be con completing and rounding up uh, the, the, the teaching for the week with Maximize Work teaching on reality, I mean, reflection. And we are excited to have a uh, to be tomorrow uh, on tomorrow's program. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a wonderful program again. And, uh, you know, I don't know, let me see. Uh, we have a whole lot, Coach Dan is driving. I know I don't want to get him distracted. And uh, I celebrate every single one, uh, Mrs. Buki Ogurombi, Madam Chinwe, Mrs. Ellen, all the way from Calabar, Mrs. Mosulala, Mrs. Mos, uh, Mosumola. I super celebrate Alice and Alice Mena, uh, every single person and all my friends, all the mentorship class or West Secret community. I celebrate every one of you. It's been another beautiful day. And we tell you guys, go out there. Don't just let the day count, make the day count. See you at the top, bottom is way overcrowded. It's your friend, your coach, and your business partner. Success partner at the same time too. You know what I mean? Bye for now.